All right, discovered some uh, interesting things. Got the timing cover off of this 5.4, and um, as I was taking the valve cover off, the timing chain came off, and I noticed I pulled it off that the one of the uh, chain followers had just fell off and was laying in there, so the timing chain was extremely loose. I noticed on the back of the timing cover that had been chewing on it for a little while. So it was eating away at the back of the timing cover. Both sides, the chain's really loose, but the driver's side was because of the cam followers uh, fell off. Actually, the reason why it came off was because one of the bolts broke. Um, I think this motor may have had uh, chains put in it once before. Uh, it's got the cast iron tensioners in it already, but the problem was uh, we pulled this out or started working on this because of oil pressure uh, being at zero. Well, come to find out, the timer chain wore a hole right into the oil pump, so this could be exactly why we have an oil pressure issue with this engine. Uh, but we got all new chains, everything. I'm going to have to see can I get that broken bolt off out of the block. I don't think it'll be in there too bad, hopefully. Uh, and then get all these parts removed. Got to pull all the followers off the cams. Because I'm not going to uh, lock the cams down. I'm just going to pull all the uh, rocker arms off. And then set all the time in that way and put the rocker arms back in. But anyway, that's where we're at. Okay. I was able to get this broken bolt out of that hole. Uh, that was the bolt that broke off and allowed the chain follower to fall, which let the chain cut a hole through the oil pump. The chains were so worn out that the tensioners were completely maxed out and it, the chains were just slapping anyway. But what I was able to do, here's the piece of screw that was off in there. These screws, uh, they don't bottom out in there, so which is a good thing. So they're actually, if they break, they're still loose in the hole. I was able to drill a little bit of a tiny hole in the end of it. Take a small pick and work it around in a circle. And I was able to get it to screw out on its own without having to use a ease out or anything of that nature. Um, came out fairly, fairly easy. Glad for that. Um, what I ended up doing was I pulled all the followers off the driver's side because that chain came off on me as I was uh, removing the valve cover so I didn't know exactly where the timing marks would be. But I went ahead and locked down the passenger side. I locked it down into a, I uh, timed it, got, num got, got it up to uh, number one and that timing marks at 11 o'clock and once I began reassembly, everything should go back in place. Um, so far, it's going just fine. Not too bad. Okay, so I got the oil pump in. Tightening up the pickup tube bolts. Um, they're 8 millimeter. The one in the back is kind of harder to get to because you got to reach up in there with the tips of your fingers and start that bolt. The one on the outside, not too bad. Uh, it starts fairly easy. A lot of people uh, have different ways they do this. I just used a straight gear wrench. And like I said, I used two fingers to get it started. And this is an area where if you don't have patience with starting bolts and, you know, blind starting them, you can't really see what you're doing there. Uh, you're just going by feel. Then find someone who uh, has the patience to do it because it just takes a little patience and it don't, it ain't too bad after that. Uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's what I used. Some people use the uh, swivel head ratchet gear uh, gear wrench, but I'm just using a straight, and it worked out all right for me. Here we go. We got the chains in time. Got the uh, tensioners in. Pulled the grenade pins. Everything's all set now. Put the reluctor wheel on. Uh, I'm going to apply some sil some silicone. To a few areas on here before we uh, install the new the cover with new gaskets so we're going to put a bead here on both sides we're going to put it where the head joins the block on both sides and put a little bit up here with the valve cover 
joints. We'll do both sides that way. Uh, it's really the only place you need to put silicone and it should seal off just fine after that. But and everything's back in. Um, I got the new bolts for the chain follower on this side installed and should be good to go. Get this timing cover on, put the followers back in or the uh, lifters, or roller, the rucker arms back in on this side and uh, and start uh, assembling the rest of it. Here we go. Well, after priming it, charging the battery, put some water in it. It's alive. It's running now. And it's very quiet. No chain noise. I'm going to let it warm up just a little bit. And, uh, Check my valve covers to make sure they're not leaking or anything. Got a top off the power steering fluid. And I do have a radiator leak uh, from one of the uh, transmission cooler lines. I think the radiator may have to be replaced, but we'll see. Anyway, it's uh, fired right up after I got it primed. And uh, sounds great. Full pressure looks good too. Yep. This thing had zero oil pressure at idle. You had to uh, rev it up to get any kind of oil pressure out of it. So now it's looking great. <laughs>